Hi Stanford's, welcome to Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Jill and I'm excited to show you a bundle that we have. It's called the Bewitching Bundle and it has the cute cling stamp set right here and the punch and it has a band for the hat that fits right here and the stars that you can use to decorate your cute little um, witch's hat and I turn it upside down so I can see when I'm actually lining it up and I'll show you that in a minute. I'm making this fun little gift treat that you can use for Halloween or just a little neighbor gift or I'm also making this for a get together for my customers and demonstrators. So I'm just using a regular Tootsie Pop and I'm using orange tissue paper with this fun netting that has glitter all over. You can see it's everywhere. I'm wrapping this around this Tootsie Pop and it's about 10 inch by 7 inch piece of both and this doesn't have to be as wide. The netting is just how wide it is and I'm just bunching it together. I'm going to tie it with this gingham our gingham ribbon which I love and I love that you can actually color this ribbon. So I want to make this ribbon this purple. This is an alcohol marker and it's called Highland Heather and I'm just going to go like this and it immediately dries so you don't have to worry about getting on your hands and it goes through the whole thing. So I have done this with several of the colors, the orange, the green and the purple. So I love this because it makes it pop on your little witch here that I'm making and you can, it's just, just not black and white. So ribbon, you can make ribbon any color with your Stampin' Blends. So I'm just going to tie a knot here. It's kind of like almost the witch's arms if you had. Okay, so there's the witch per se right there. Now we're going to do some stamping with my Memento ink and I'm just using the hat stamp and when you stamp your hat you're going to want to make sure that you go ahead and angle it. Let's get the glitter off of here and you want to angle this in a way that it's going to come so you can put the punch in. So I'm angling it a little bit tilted to the left and press that down and then I'm going to do the feet right next to it. I like to pat and twist my stamp pads and then our stamps to look to make sure that they're fully covered with ink and then I'm just going to move these over down here because I'm going to cut the feet out and it won't matter if those little over stampings are there. Okay so let's go ahead and punch this out, move our stamp pad a little bit and this will fit in and that's why I look do it from the upside down so I could see how I line it up and get the image just right in the center of that punch and punch. Okay, we'll put that over here and we have these little stars that we can go ahead and use and I think I'll use this one big star so I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with that. Okay, for coloring this I'm going to go ahead and use our Stampin' Blends Dark Parakeet color and the cool thing about using the blends with this particular, um, the Memento, is you can go over the black and it's not going to smear at all. So it's awesome. And then I'm just going to do the purple and I'm going to do the purple like this, just kind of like a line here across. And this purple is Highland Heather again. It's the light one, but you can use the dark. I've done both. I'm just kind of making that a little bit darker and then I'm going to go ahead and use the dark pumpkin pie. So this is just, you can make it how you want to make it and then I'll go ahead and use the Highland Heather again on the, on the, and if I come back with another color I'm like, oh this needs to be changed. The parakeet, I'm just going to go over this little star right here because I think it'd be fun to use this on the tip of the hat with the parakeet. Oh look, I've got one more that I've got to do. I missed it. Okay, so there we've got the hat all done, the star. I'm not going to use this right now because I've just went ahead and did this. Now you're going to take your feet and you're going to cut out 
the feet to go on the bottom of this. There's two ways you can do it. You can just stick this right on underneath here with a glue dot to hold it on. But if you want to make the feet move, this is a die from our catalog from an envelope die set and it's called a mini pocket envelope and it's got this little piece in it right here that's the two holes and I went ahead and cut one out already and this is going to allow the piece or the feet to be able to maneuver back and forth so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just punch a hole in and I think I've got a smaller hole punch but I kind of wanted it a little bit bigger to be about the size of that hole and I'm going to go ahead and take a brad that was big enough we sell these brads and they're square they come in white and black it doesn't really matter which one you don't want to do it too taut because you want it to kind of be loose to be able to move the feet back and forth okay so it's pretty loose you can see that now I'm going to take a glue dot right here and I'm going to go ahead and put the glue dot right in the middle of the dot of this so it can stick to the pop. Okay, so like that. And then I'm going to take this, go underneath it, lift it up a little bit, but also take into the fact that, oh, it's going to hang down. So I'm going to go ahead and put it like that. So then it moves back and forth, the little feet move back and forth. Okay, now we're going to address our little witch here with some hair. This is a six inch piece of our ribbon, also in the in colors in the parakeet. And I love these because it's really nice and fun. It's metallic. And I'm going to go ahead and take the six inch piece, fold it over, then tie it in a knot in the middle. And I'm going to go ahead and pull these through. And this is the fun part where you get to have fun with the ribbon and make it, you know, um, like hair for the witch. Okay, so I went ahead and pulled that through and kind of make the knot in the center. And then I'm going to take my take your pick tool and go like this. I had made this before without the... Um, hair and then I saw somebody sample with the hair and I thought oh that would be so cute I can't remember her name but I think this is a great way to do it and you just kind of run this over and it separates all those fibers and makes it like crazy witch hair <laughs> it's getting to be that time around here okay I'm just gonna take a glue dot and kind of put it on that ribbon even though we're going to put some dimensionals on this so this is just kind of for fun so you look at this and i'm going to decide okay where do i want that hair to go it's going to kind of go every which way anyway okay so i am going to do that because i want it to kind of stick out and then let's put some little dimensionals on this i'm just going to take these ones that i've kind of cut in half already and i'm going to go ahead and put those down right by the hat because they're going to go onto the pop tootsie pop and i want to get the hair kind of down this way so it's not so it's going down from the hat not up let's see did i get that one cut i don't know if i got that one that's on this side okay let's go ahead and stick that down so it's kind of ma making the hair go where i want it to go okay let's take all that off and then we'll put it right onto our pop and make our little hat and you just kind of curve it around the head pull that hair down it's kind of this witch's hair kind of does its own thing goes kind of where it wants to go and oh I forgot the little the cute little star we'll put that on the top of the hat with a glue dot and then if you want to you can also put one of these little cute I love using 
just little accessories that are fun. This is such the perfect pur purple for this. And it makes it kind of pop up. And of course, it's not cooperating with us today. It, they are really sticky, so that's a good thing. But trying to get this on is not, there we go. Okay, so we have that. Now this little witch has got to have some eyes. So I'm going to take these small rounds and put it right there on the witch's face. There we go. So we've got our little witch that has moving feet and crazy hair. And I'll show you a couple more. This one right here is with the green and the purple. And I haven't put the feet on that one yet. This is another one, orange, just with a different hat. And this one right here is the green. So I've got to put the feet on those. But you get the idea of how you could make this little witch kind of fun with the moving disco feet. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed seeing this fun Halloween project that you can make for someone. If you like any of these products, you can purchase them through stampandjill.com or click below the links. And we'll see you next time on Watch a Weekly Wednesday. Bye.